The removal of wildlife, including badgers, is causing concern in the Chilterns as the high-speed rail link from London to the north of England take shape. Special cages are being used to force badgers to leave, but HS2 developers insist their methods are legal and they're working with Natural England. Here's our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards. Even in lockdown, work on the high-speed rail link HS2 continues. An ancient woodland used to be here. Now it's completely gone. Trees are coming down. The landscape here in the Chilterns is changing. And many here are deeply upset and angry. Parts of our heritage are being annihilated by HS2. At Grimsditch, we've lost the Grimditch wood and the ancient monument. It's no longer on our, on our horizon there anymore. It's just piles of chippings. A 300-year-old oak by their compound on Kings Lane was just taken down to widen the, the, the gateway there. We're losing our landscape. These are badger sets. To get the badgers to move, HS2 has put caging and one-way gates on them. HS2 say they have got licences from Natural England to do this to badger sets and they're creating artificial sets elsewhere, although I haven't seen any. Campaigners say this is inhumane. New infrastructure and wildlife, it's not an easy mix. The badgers being evicted from their ancestral homes at this time of year in the middle of winter when the females are pregnant and um, it's just it seems amoral to me that they have to create their own new homes again and give birth uh, in, in a very short matter a short period of time whether they use the new sets that are made for them or not. HS2 will increase capacity on the railways and speed up journey times to the north but to do that, it has to go in a straight line. So ancient woodland is going, including half of this wood. Inspiration for Roald Dahl's fantastic Mr Fox. Activists say they won't give up. We've got loads of fight left in us. We are still going to stop this. We know that we have so much more power if we can just get a, a few more people to stand up and do what they have to do. HS2 says it takes its legal obligations very seriously and all ecology work is carried out in accordance with the law. But campaigners, though, say the environmental costs are far too high. Tom Edwards, BBC London.